USC, uh, they've been a dog twice this year as we uh, wrap up with this matchup. Uh, they beat LSU week one, lost to Penn State in overtime at home, uh, which was probably their best game of the season. Uh, and, 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 and then since then, though, uh, because I think of what happened to them, this is not a surprise to me of what, what took place to USC. And a lot of people are, are on Lincoln Riley, and I get that. But as soon as they lost the game to Penn State, I mean, I said it. I said they're, it's going to be hard to see how they're going to react to this because their season's over. You know, they've had a tough schedule. They've lost some big, close games. Um, and, uh, and, and now it's over. And, and, and maybe they didn't respond well. They, changed, they, they made a switch of quarterback. Um, I don't know. Look, I understand why they made the switch because, as, as I said before, they've got a weak offensive line. And so this, this uh, quarterback they have now is more athletic. He can move, uh, but he, he's, he's not the pocket passer uh, that, uh, that the other kid is. So, um, yeah, I think this is a matchup that really is tailor-made for Notre Dame. I, I look at USC, especially with this quarterback, this specific quarterback, kind of just reminds me like they're kind of playing a level up from Army and Navy. You know, they're, 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 you know I know USC is more talented, but I think not to say that if you have a pocket passer and a strong arm that you're going to beat the secondary, but still, if you're going to beat Notre Dame, I think you have to have uh, a really good quarterback. And I just don't think USC has one. Well, they had one the last time Notre Dame played, uh, played them out in LA, Caleb Williams. And it, the way Caleb Williams had success against that unit, he pretty much wrapped up his Heisman yeah. Trophy campaign. He, he was, uh, <laughs> Running, running around like crazy against that defense, making all sorts of plays. And I think we're going to see a little bit different outcome this time around. Yeah, because Notre Dame has won five of the last six. That was the loss uh, two years ago at USC. The uh, spread has been three and three in the last six. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I like Notre Dame. Is there anything about this game uh, in all, in, in, at all that uh, concerns you? Uh, West Coast trip. Um, but Notre Dame has handled those pretty well for the most part. I mean, there's a little bit of a sense that just, you know, maybe a bit of worry of how Notre Dame was going to finish last season against Stanford, but they pretty much beat the brakes off the Cardinal to, to end the year. And I know that wasn't a very good Stanford team, but they took care of business. <laughs> so, um, it, you know, it is a rivalry game. It'll be interesting to see how up USC gets for, gets for that game. Um, you know, yeah, I don't they just know. had a big one, right against UCLA, and you know, I think maybe in the past, you know, you would say that you know USC, you know, they want to ruin Notre Dame season, ruin their chance, everything like that. I mean, with the transfer portal and everything nowadays, and how everything is, I I don't know how much there is that allegiance to you know playing for your school and getting up for those sorts of games so i'll be interested to see what sort of usc team trots out on the field um this year because i know they've already had a couple of their c their key contributor key contributors bow out to enter the transfer portal so i don't really know what to expect i think notre dame will show up i think they'll win um i think they have to avoid a slow start yep I think they will, um, but if we get the same Notre Dame team that's played uh, every week since NIU, I think Notre Dame should win this one pretty comfortably. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. I think if they got to a good start, I, the game's over by halftime in my mind. Um, but that's, that's the way they would like it. <laughs> yeah, but we, if you turn on uh, – if you've missed the first half and you're late and you turn the game on and you see it's 10-7 going into the third quarter, it's going to be a long game. Um, cause that's USC's only chance is their defense and, and they got a good defense and they, uh, that's the best defense they've had in a while. They got a good young coordinator. The defense is going to try to keep them in it, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, this is still going to be a good test in Notre Dame. They have to win. It's a must win. So we got to keep that in mind, uh, and see if they can get it done. And I, I agree. I, I think, I think they will. And I think they will cover as well. I think the line is still about seven USC two to one on the money line, just clinched their bowl. Uh, eligibility with that win last week against UCLA. So USC is playing for nothing except, like you said, uh, to try to ruin Notre Dame's season. 